I think I've figured it all out now. I think the problem is that if the controller doesn't know what the draw on the battery is, it can't work things out. So therefore, um, even though it's unwise to connect some things, such as um, inverters to the load, which can exceed that, I already know that my fridge is drawing uh, reliably three amps. Um, I don't even think this is visible. No, forget it. So 3.7 amps, uh, and that's now programmed to come in out of the load. So I've got that coming out of the load. So now, if we look at the, the current going into the battery, there's actually about half an amp going into the battery. So we are now away from a situation where previously there was a deficit of uh, power. So basically, if I'm going to use this to power my, my fridge while I'm camping, then this, this battery has to be connected up in such a way that you've got exactly as the, uh, the, the line ends go, You've got um, the panel going into the panel, and then you've got the battery going into the battery, and then you've got the load going out of the load. Uh, it, it's reporting at the load that it's delivering 12.88 volts, um, and it's sucking out 3 amps. So um, then uh, the battery is also sucking out um, 0.56 amps. Now, if we actually measure the battery, um, I'm going to have to uh, put the phone down. The battery is sitting at 12.95. So that's interesting because the charge uh, amount is still giving it half an amp at, uh, at that low amount. So I'm suspecting that if I you know, disconnect, disconnect my panels or something like that and drop my, uh, my voltage down, it might, battery voltage down, it might, you know, pump more in but at the moment uh, with the state of charge of the battery 500, uh, 500 milliamps half an amp into the battery isn't a bad thing so basically short answer is the controller does a good job at exactly what it's supposed to do and unlike more expensive controllers that have a me method of measuring what the, uh, the the battery load is because you can get a, a, a type that actually put a sensor on on that and feed it back into the uh, circuit so it can figure things out. This one's um, fairly unable to work that out. So I am actually getting uh, something like four amps out of my panel, and um, uh, you might say, well, you know, the uh, the the panel's short circuit voltage is is five. Um, uh, so where's it all going? Well, in my opinion, the answer to that comes from this little tool over here. So let's go out into the sunlight, and uh, if we uh, take a image reading of that, we get 64 degrees. So the, the well, higher, 67s. So when we work out um, the 0.4 coefficient drop on the panel, uh, I reckon that that'll, that's caused by temperature on the panel. Uh, I reckon we'll come pretty much to the, the numbers that we're getting at because there's slightly different voltages, as we saw before, 12.8 um, versus 12.9. So, uh, even though the wattage here that's coming out at currently 40 watts is coming out of the load, uh, which is, you know, 3.06 3 amps at 12.87. I think it's changing around a little bit, yes. Um, so, uh, you know, speaking around figures, 3.9 watts, and plus um, the uh, 0.5 amps going into the battery as a balance for what the load is, then, um, then I think that'll all work out to justify that it's coming up with around about four and a half amps maybe a little bit closer to five which ain't too far from a spec and is pretty close to what you'd expect with the temperature variations caused by the the loss of efficiency of the cell so there you go so this little mppt controller works very nicely uh, it does exactly what one would expect it to do um, you just can't kind of do things that it doesn't know about because then it can't take it into account so that is why I got the uh, the bad result in the first wiring instance because there's no method for the controller to know the load so you just simply have to balance it out of the load if you do want to drive anything directly off the battery you're probably better off doing it um, in the evenings when it's not charging so that uh, you know it's not going to interfere with the charge cycle